traditional British brew. Wonderful. Nobody else has anything like that. Fantastic stuff. Quite seriously and very practically, we had a community pub just down the road. The pub closed a few years back. We reopened it as a community pub and it really functions well as a community pub. So I did a lot for the garden, I did a lot for various events that happened there and it was a joy to see it come to life and serve the purpose that we wanted it to serve. And most important, it gave young people employment opportunities and we reckon it's put about three quarters of a million pounds in its eight years through the pockets of the people who've worked there, which is a tremendous achievement. To you. It's a wonderful historic place on a historic road, a turnpike road which was a very important transport link, a memorial place, it's, it's something that should be preserved and looked after and it's a lovely picturesque building. Oh, of this pub? Yes, I've been here on a couple of occasions over the years and had very pleasant evenings in this room for weddings and so on. Not funerals, but weddings. They do some beautiful celebration evenings here and it's a lovely setting when they open the doors. You've got that fabulous view. You're not disturbing anybody. It's a superb place for social events. People value England, the United Kingdom, for its history and I'm thinking particularly about tourists from abroad. They talk about history. The Americans, if you say something's a hundred years old, they think it's ancient. They struggle to relate to things that are three, four, five hundred years old. The pubs and the churches have been our landmarks for years and years and years. They're what make our places what they are. If we lose them, the whole country becomes a dormitory and I think personally that would be a complete tragedy. When I first come here, Adam says have a walk around and I walked around the function room and I could hear a little girl crying and I says to Adam, you've got a little girl, says no. I says, who's the little girl crying in the toilets? He said, that's Jessica, the ghost. Harold is her dad. He killed her and his wife. He won't let Jessica pass over. He walks around the pub and behind the bar with his dog. He used to own this with his wife. And he's never left, and he's still here today. First thing in the morning, comes clean in the restaurant, and I was looking at the CTV camera, and there she was standing between these function doors in a Victorian style dress. I looked at the camera again, and she come towards me in the camera and I ran out the building. The dog wanders round, he still wanders round in the restaurant with Harold. People have heard him crying. And I was scared at first, but now it doesn't bother me. If he's around, he's around. <laughs> the hundred steps is haunting, mm. but I've never heard any other pubs. But then again, I'm not looking for it, so mm. he's pulled hair. But then again, when I was doing the laundry one day, I turned around and says, JD, leave me alone. He went near me, the dog. We've had a lot of changes, and they don't like changes. But he's still around, and I don't think he'll ever go. Because this is his home, and Jessica's. It's a wonderful historic place on a historic road. A turnpike road, which was a very important transport link. A memorial place, it's, it's something that should be preserved and looked after and it's a lovely picturesque building. This pub, yes, I've been here on a couple of occasions over the years and had very pleasant evenings in this room for weddings and so on. Not funerals, but weddings. They do some beautiful celebration evenings here and it's a lovely setting when they open the doors. You've got that fabulous view. You're not disturbing anybody, it's a superb place for social events. People value England, the United Kingdom, for its history. And I'm thinking particularly about tourists from abroad. 
They talk about history. The Americans, if you say something's 100 years old, they think it's ancient. They struggle to relate to things that are three, four, five hundred years old. The pubs and the churches have been our landmarks for years and years and years. They're what make our places what they are. If we lose them, the whole country becomes a dormitory. And I think personally that would be a complete tragedy. Oh, by drinking beer particularly. Our traditional British brew, wonderful. Nobody else has anything like that. Fantastic stuff. Um, Quite seriously and very practically, we had a community pub just down the road. The pub closed a few years back. We reopened it as a community pub and it really functions well as a community pub. So I did a lot for the garden. I did a lot for various events that happened there. And it was a joy to see it come to life and serve the purpose that we wanted it to serve. And most important, it gave young people employment opportunities. And we reckon it's put about three quarters of a million pounds in its eight years through the pockets of the people who've worked there, which is a tremendous achievement. It's a wonderful historic place on a historic road, a turnpike road, which was a very important transport link, a memorial place. It's something that should be preserved and looked after, and it's a lovely, picturesque building. I've been here on a couple of occasions over the years and had very pleasant evenings in this room for weddings and so on. They do some beautiful celebration evenings here, and it's a lovely setting when they open the doors. You've got that fabulous view. You're not disturbing anybody. It's a superb place for social events. People value England for its history, and I'm thinking particularly about tourists from abroad. They talk about history. The pubs and the churches have been our landmarks for years and years and years. They're what make our places what they are. If we lose them, the whole country becomes a dormitory. And I think personally that would be a complete tragedy. How do you support pubs? Oh, by drinking. <laughs> Beer, particularly. Our traditional British brew, wonderful. Nobody else has anything like that. Fantastic stuff. Our local pub just down the road closed a few years ago and we reopened it as a community pub. So um, for a long time what I did was very actively support that pub. I did a lot for the garden, I did a lot for various events that happened there and it was a joy to see it come to life and serve the purpose that we wanted it to serve. And most important, it gave young people employment opportunities and we reckon it's put about three quarters of a million pounds in its eight years through the pockets of the people who've worked there, which is a tremendous achievement. My name's Sally, I've been here six years and when I first come here Adam says have a walk around and I walked around the punch bowl and I could hear a little girl crying and I come back and I says to Adam you've got a little girl he says no so I've got two boys I says who's the little girl crying in the toilets he said that's Jessica the ghost Harold is her dad and he killed her and his wife. She passed over, but he won't let Jessica pass over. He used to own this with his wife and his little girl and his dog. And he's never left, and he's still here today. Wow. Have you had any experiences of Harold? No, I have with Jessica. Mm. I come first thing in the morning, come to clean, I clean the bar in the restaurant and I was looking at the CTV camera and there she was standing between these function doors in a Victorian style dress. I looked at the camera again and she come towards me in the camera but not the door and I ran out. I was scared at first but now it doesn't bother me. He's done a few things, through glasses, full hair, We've had a lot of changes, and they don't like changes. But he's still around, and I don't think he'll ever go.